All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is Reports Find. Uh, food delivery apps are paying migrant workers. Okay. Let's go check it out. All right, Republican senators are demanding answers. All right, Republican senators are demanding answers from Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub following reports that illegal immigrants are getting paid as delivery workers on the apps, allegedly by piggybacking on the accounts of current employees. But each company is pushing back on the accusations. Grubhub saying, quote, account sharing is completely unacceptable on Grubhub. Yeah, unacceptable, but is it, like, is it possible? And will result in immediate termination. Uber adds, all couriers who deliver with Uber are required to hold a valid right to work in the U.S., pass a criminal background check, and be over the age of 18. Okay. DoorDash said there is no place on the DoorDash platform for those who can't or won't verify their identity. Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn is one of the lawmakers leading the charge on this inquiry, and she joins us now. Senator, good morning to you. So tell us about this effort and also your, your response to those delivery services. Yes, indeed. One of the things that has concerned us is that you have those that have illegally entered the country who are beginning to piggyback on mm. these accounts. And of course, this came to light when you had the illegal alien who had been granted parole status, who mm. was delivering food in New York, commits a crime, leaves, goes to Athens, Georgia again, delivering food, and he then kills Lake and Riley. So we know that this is happening. And one of the things, Carly, that we've paid so much attention to is how these cartels are beginning to find ways for people they're illegally bringing in the country to work because these people have to pay back the cartel mm -hmm. for their fee Transport. for getting into the country. Mm -hmm. Guys, the main thing here is that yeah, in order to work, you need to have some type of documentation. But I mean, from what a video that we previously seen, uh, it's not really hard right now, currently in specifically Manhattan, to to get this information, guys. Right? I mean, you can just pay someone on the street corner. Apparently, people ask you, "Hey, do you want to buy an ID?" <laughs> right? Um, I'm sure these IDs uh, track back most likely to an actual person, and this is probably how they're you they're they're actually using um, this service to uh, make money. Senator, do you feel like, you know, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, do you feel like they want to prevent illegals from working or, or are they complicit in this because it al allows them uh, to operate more widely? Yeah, you know, Pete, one of the things we're trying to find out is exactly what is happening and what is their participation and have them exercise that authority that they have, that contract with anyone who is working for them. Now, they, if they are turning a blind eye to this and they are allowing people who have not been vetted, who are not of proper age, to be out there working on someone else's app, then that is, they've got to clean this up. The other thing too is- Oh, guys, really quickly, let me uh, interject. Um, I'm not sure the company knows at all. Um, I'm not even going to put it on the company. I'm just going to bl blatantly put it on the person. So, for example, let's say um, I get hired to do this job, but get I really don't want to do this job, but I just I got hired to do it, or, or I'm, I'm allowed to do it. All I really have to do is sell it to someone. You give me a percentage of this this day, and I will give you the rest of the money. So that's basically free money for anyone who wants to take it. And then they can sell that very specific service to many people. And many people will take it specifically if they're not licensed to work in the United States of America. I think this is probably a more logical explanation than uh, this gigantic company knows exactly that this is happening. They don't know, they're not complicit. But the person that um, has signed up and gone through the background check is most likely in fact selling that information. It's not uncommon, actually. Um, many of these remote jobs currently are being done by the spouses of the people uh, who got hired. Think about that. Is we do not want consumers to have people coming to their door, making deliveries, many times late at night, uh, and giving them the opportunity, someone illegally in the country, the opportunity to case people or to watch or, or to cause harm to American citizens. 
but she's living under the impression that every single person that comes into the United States of America is a criminal. Um, there now, here's the thing: uh, there absolutely is a is a lot of criminality when it comes to people being removed from uh, the shelters and not having the ability to work. They're going to do anything humanly possible to basically feed their family. That's just how humanity works, right? But um, what she's saying is as a concern is absolutely a concern, but I'm not sure that it's um, like extremely widespread, not specifically, but it is definitely a concern. I would also be concerned about um, having someone that is completely uh, like one of those uh, Trend de Aragua uh, members that are coming from Venezuela. I would definitely prefer not to have any of these people anywhere near my house. Uh, but how do you, in fact, kind of screen for that if you're just allowing it? Okay, it's a valid, it's a definitely a valid concern um, that she has, but I just definitely would not put that on every single person, though. Right. And the country, the opportunity to case people or to watch or are to cause harm to American citizens. Well, I don't I mean, I do know because I live in Texas. It doesn't seem quite the same. I don't know what it's like in Tennessee. Pete and Senator Blackburn can address that. But if you're ever in New York City, it is blatantly obvious what's going on with these delivery services and how it's staffed by illegal immigrants. But I do want to ask about something else you're working on, Senator, and that's the Fans First Act. Um, yes. is looking to reform live ticketing events. Uh, a lot of A-list musicians like Billie Eilish and Cindy Lauper and Dave Matthews are in on this as well. They're excited about this. This is um, really something about resellers, right? Help us understand resellers, scooping up tickets, inflating prices, boxing out the fan. Yes, indeed. The Fans First Act is actually the second um, bill that we have done on this. In 2016, Senator Schumer and I had the Bots Act that went after the bots that many of the resellers use in order to scoop up tickets, elevate the prices. And what has come to light through the years is the need for a transparency on the tickets. So you know all the fees, you're aware of where that ticket actually sits in the arena and you are you know that you have a valid ticket we've all heard of people who buy a ticket from a resale seller they get to the event and they find out it is it's a fake, fake. Right. and then they're out the money yeah. so this adds further protections for consumers and we're all very concerned about what is a monopoly, basically, with Live Nation, hmm. Ticketmaster, and then the payola concept of that that comes when the radio stations are tied into that and basically use your artists for chattel, demanding meet and greets and events in order to get the air. All right, guys, this has nothing to do with the uh, topic that we came here for. All right, all right so here's the thing. Um, are there people, could there be a potential issue uh with migrants legitimately working um using someone else's information there could definitely be an issue and i definitely could tell you in new york it sounds like something that would definitely happen in new york and many other cities because again all you really have to do is you personally get hired for this um delivery service right and then sell that to someone else Right. It's in your name. You're responsible now, bro, because it's technically you, right? But it's really not. Like the amount of times I've ordered food and the photo specifically um, looks like someone else completely. Like, bro, that is not you in the photo, but yet you're delivering my food. The amount of times I've seen that happen is probably higher than the person actually coming to my door is the person. And remember, with the, the rise of remote jobs, it is not uncommon for your spouse to be doing the actual job while you're doing another at the same exact time, right? Um, specifically, if that person is not able to find work, guess what? You can. So it's not uncommon. This is excessively common, extremely common. Um, this is why I definitely think that the concept of remote working should uh, pretty much end, right? But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.